Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kafan Encrypted and we are back with more Song of Horror. Last time we finished episode 1 with Alina, and it's time to explore episode 2, Eerily Quiet. Well, well, it appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Ugh, my head. I had a dream. I... I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. Mr. Neuer, my name is Alina, and I found you inside the Hushers' house. I'm... I'm glad to see her better. Yes. I think I remember you. Thank you so much, Alina. I owe you my life. Don't mention it. Listen, Mr. Neuer, I found some notes and recordings from the Husher family. If you're looking for the Hushers, you might need them. Oh, thank you once again. I'm sure they'll be helpful. The truth is, I was thinking of leaving as soon as possible to- Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine, really. I found this. Apparently, Husher received a music box from an acquaintance of his, a certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Farber says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. She may be right, Daniel. I'm sure the police are very close to finding out where Husher is. Do you think the police would have found me? We need to find Husha. I saw the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... Oh. I think we should pay a visit to this Faber and ask him about the music box and Husha. He has a shop in the city not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? In theory, yes. In reality, different story. Let's see who do we have. So we still have Sophie. We have Erica Farber. Age 24, light source lighter. Erica manages the Farber and source antique shop. Along with her father Isaac. If he's the art expert, she's the managing brains. She's always on top of every slightest detail of the business. Her adventurous spirit takes her all over the world in the search of new items to adorn the shop's windows. Incredibly active, Erika has many hobbies and lets her imagination run wild at every chance she gets. So she has, through the roof serenity, horrible stealth, horrible strength, at very good speed. Radio cassette player, my favorite music, ready to listen on the go, helps me focus and remember who I am. Okay. We have Rene Ortigas, age 37, flashlight. I like the ones that have a flashlight. Rene was born to be a cop, and he'll die one too. Born in the Caribbean, he grew disillusioned with the police department in his hometown and set sail for Europe, where he thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better. But the grass wasn't as green as it seemed. Tired of moving around, Rene decided to settle down and do what he could to help his new fellow citizens. Very good speed. Horrible stealth, very good strength, decent serenity. And he has a service weapon. Holston is secure as per safety regulations. I hope I never have to use it, Rene. And then we have Daniel, who has a flashlight. And he is totally balanced. Okay. I'm really thinking of going with Rene. But... It would make more sense to go with Erika. It's her father's place after all. Let's start with Erika, and if things go bad, we can switch to Rene. Ooh. Bonus personal item. 
or I can have the haikus. How does that help? Uh, okay. Yeah, well, that's the only collectible I have, so sure. Barber and source antiques, books, coins, and other stuff that I could not read in time. Stamps, restorations, member of the Royal Board of Antiques and Gallerists, 1st of October 1998. So that's a few days later, actually. We sell all kind of stuff here. We might have to think about opening a second, more specialized shop. Okay. I see Dad left the keys in the flower pot again. Typical. It's a good thing because I forgot mine. How did you forget yours, girl? Big key. Oh. Uh, antique shop. Okay. Graffiti. Yep. The door and the key, magic, you don't say. So, nothing here. From what I know, Darkness on Episode 1 was very tame. From 2 onwards, it gets really savage. So, be prepared for a lot of spookiness. That's that game. The umbrella belongs to Mr. Roman. He always forgets it. Yeah, I can listen straight away. <laughs> okay, no death. This place is packed. Uh huh. How weird. It's not like Dad to leave the lights on after closing up. Hi, Tram. I love the fact that there's a random car and Tram going out. The German fellow who sells us this wooden ships is over 80 years old. I wonder how many more we'll be able to purchase. I'm trying to convince Dad to let me offer this mask as costumes. We managed to diversify our customer base, but we still got a long way to go. Again with those weird masks and the statues. With some minor fixes, this telescope would be good as new. Mental note, call someone to take a... Ta come take a look at it. Hi, spooky guy. The old culture machine. I need to put in a specific coin if I wanted to spit out a message. Who knows where those tokens are? Let me guess, I'll find them. Yes. A uh, list of products acquired with a handwritten note. Ooh. Letter of furnishing. Music box, okay. I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes. Otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. Okay. We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it into one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one did we place it in? I can't even remember that color what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? Okay, so that's a hint and luminol. That's what the police use. Perhaps that way I could find the law of products containing the wardrobe and the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to its original owners, the Legrand Amsberg family. If I can manage that, will the madness come to an end? Receipts for purchases of several lot of antiques by Farber and Sorbs. One is Mark, letters, old furnishing, and the music box. So there are letters. Okay. Cloth hanger. 
I could easily bend this if I need to. Okay. Art history books ranging from Greece to 20th century avant-garde art movements. I've lived through some, but this is still more my dad's thing. Come on. I think I could squeeze under there if I if I tried hard enough. Right. So it's a hiding place. This is where we keep copies of international treaties. There is even one of the Treaty of Paris signed in 1815 following the Battle of Waterloo. Gallery, door closed to enter, ask the counter. Okay. Okay, no death. We should digitize all these documents at some point, but who can be bothered? Letter 1 by Sebastian P. Husser, a letter from Sebastian P. Husser for I to Isaac, Barber dated 13th of August. Okay. Quiet Lake Street 26, and that's some sort of postcode. Okay. Dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If it is any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself. Perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect this is not always the case. Despite everything, I have found a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving and the wood, I am certain that it is European, from the late 19th or early 20th century. I also noticed that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Sebastian Pihasser. That's a fancy knight armor. This dummy belonged to Mom. She's the only person in her family who was fairly good at sewing. Hey, what's my guitar doing here? Well, you left it there, apparently. I don't know who'd like to lag around this huge thing. People come up with the crazy stories about the origin of the spyglass. Calm down, everyone. It's just decoration. The guy who sold this to us tried to convince me to believe that it was used in the Battle of Bar Balaclava. Yes. I'd love to give some kids a scare every time they come here with their parents and start running like a pack of wild horses. Yes, the jester can be spooky. The shop is a mess. We got hundreds of uncategorized and uncatalogued articles, and they just keep coming. Well, you got work to do then, girl. That ugly old box doesn't do much to showcase those vases. Mm -hmm. These leather-bound notebooks are more mementos than anything else. Ah, oh, look, a broken mirror. Surprise. This medieval armor has had so much work done that we should almost call it contemporary. It belonged to a duke back in the day. I hear no death in the toilet. Another broken mirror. Spray bottle. It's empty. Could be useful if I needed to carry liquid. The mirror is shattered. Did one of the clients lose their mind? Dad hasn't changed the towels and now they're covered in dust. He's usually so fuzzy about those things. Also, I didn't know you guys have a beaded. Ah, cool. Okay, nothing there. <clears throat> this door leads to the courtyard and my dad's flat. He must have locked it. Surprise. 
we got some major antique weapons fanatics among our customers, especially Baker and Malcolm. They couldn't care less about the other items for sale. I mean, everyone has their thing, right? See behind the counter. We make good money with these cheap keychains and replicas that kept gripping about it at first, but the numbers don't lie. I gave my boyfriend one of those classic novels some time back and he fell asleep reading it. Damn boy, they're not that boring. Eh, it depends on the novel. The antique feel really matches the feel of this place, but it's a drag every time we have to use it. This switch opens the door to the exhibit room, but I need a handle to turn it on. Interesting mechanism. So, if we look at the map, how do we look at the map again? This way. So, we have a locked door on the left next to the toilet. We have two things to interact. One is the cold machine and the other one is the door for the exhibition, which is to the left. Okay. All toys, the scary movie type. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Pinocchio. No, that's not Pinocchio, that's uh, just a puppet. A copy of the Treaty of Tord Tordesilla. Spain and Portugal divvied up South America like a couple of high schoolers trading football cards. Okay, they did not know that. There's something here. Camera, work with me. If I crawl under this table and put on a straight face, will a random client buy me? <laughs> I'm so tired, I wouldn't mind being an ornament. Okay. Hatcher loves these gramophones. I've lost count of how many he had already. Did someone put something in the samurai's mouth? Also, does it look bloodstained? Whatever is in that sign, whatever is in that samurai's mouth, it's a bit shiny. Should I take it? Sure. A bronze culture token. A bronze colored metal token for the culture machine. That's spooky. Also, are those the zodiac signs? Yes. I see Aries. I see Scorpio, Libra. I cannot tell all of them, but I can see a number of them. Aquarius, Sagittarius. Okay. This is where we keep our historical figure biographies. My favorite is Ada Lovelaces. Oh. Whoa, Dad is really losing it lately. What's with the huge lock? And how the heck do you turn that up? With a level, probably? Hi, Dar. Is there death behind you? No? What about you? Nope. Uh. Because it's locked from the inside. I can just picture that big Walter in there, that big pervert. Uh. Okay. Rainwater? Why is there a drain above this? That's weird. Okay. Mm -mm. This is the storage room and the meter rooms, it's locked. Okay, so not this way. Uh, where 
do I go then? I don't have any keys. Well, I have the Coulter token, but I don't think that's enough. Uh, yeah, there are, those are all the doors. The old Coulter machine I need to put in a special coin. Yep. Let's put the coin. Oh, I do have a key still. Forgot about that. Of course it goes in your mouth. Okay. A prediction from the Coulter machine. Hmm. There's something you forgot. Remember it and you'll be blessed. Okay. So... There is only one locked door and I have one key. Actually, there are two lock keys. Well, I have, there are two locks and I have one key. Let's try this one first. Yep, so that was that. And it's safe. That's also safe. <coughs> One of our storage units. I think I need the guards. I think our guards have a key. Same thing, I think the guards have a key. Okay, so interior flats. Isaac Farber is A, Morley Rangel is B, and Gibbs family is C. Mm -mm. Nothing is locked. Well, surprise. It rains. Where did everyone go? On vacation? I think these rusty old things belong to someone in block three. Why are they here? There's something on that table. I wonder if I could sneak in somehow. Well, there is an opening at the top left. Strings. Wait, is that a body down there? No, that's just someone's pants and boots on the bottom left. Yeah. How could this set be locked from the inside? I don't know. Magic. The neighbors use this place as a tool set. Mm -hmm. Safe enough. Ah. Block 4, this is where my flat is. The door is locked. Of course. Three is... Some other person was on three. One was your father, right? Nope. The door to this block is stuck. That strains. Okay. So stuck means we can never open it. Yeah. The grill is really rusty. Its drop of rain seems to rust it even more. Use lemon. It works. Uh, 
the doctor block to his luck. Of course. Nope. Nope. And it's time. So we can only go into two and four. Interesting. So there's a bunch of locked doors. I'm guessing the storage open with a key and those two out here open with another key. Oh, I can run. Probably a horrible idea. Hey, isn't they isn't anyone taking out the rubbish? Oh, what's this? Damn, I'm clumsy. Really? <laughs> well, I know how to well, go take that. I could get that from the store using the basement stairs. Mm -hmm. That's a Vespa. The building is so old it even has a carriage door, which hasn't been used in, I don't know, centuries? Sound safe. I see the spooky camera moving. Will this other lift work? I should get I shouldn't get my hopes up. Hmm. The main lifts up, a spooky server. End of shift report. Date eleventh of August nineteen ninety eight. Shift nights, night. Time submitted 7 a.m. Agent Sullivan Walter, code 09534. Okay, so 0, 09, 5, and 4 make a 9, and then 3, which is the division of 9, okay? Incidents, 10.38 p.m. While on the rounds, I detected a small leak in one of the water pipes. I place a bucket under it and send a notice to the building insurers. 1.13 a.m. I hear someone pounding on the main door, coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. The pounding stops. When I open up, I see nobody in the street. 4.40 a.m. I think I heard a melody playing behind me. I go out in the inner courtyard and find Mr. Isaac Farber, barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed, and in his hand he is holding a music box which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading up to his shop. Okay. Safe enough. Mm -mm. If someone were in there doing their job, I wouldn't have to break in. Damn it, are we paying for nothing? Apparently. Supposedly taking care of the plants is a group effort. Someone isn't pulling their weight. Ooh, we have a bunch of rooms here. Uh, B31A... So, are there any names that I recognize? Killer Mochapman, Marina P. Zbeldia, Preston S., Philip McDaniel, New, Angela Ramirez. Kimberly, Dan. Nope, none of those. Adanin, no, no. None here. Erica Farber. Ah, that's hers. So that's B43C. I wonder what's that. Okay. Well, block four, room three, uh, third floor C, I'm guessing. Yeah, because block four, she said that that's her place. So all of those, they are for block four. Yes. Right? Block three. 
Okay, so these are for block 3 and 4. There must be another one for 1 and 2. I don't see Simon or that pig, Walter. But their keys are inside. Okay. So I need to grab their keys. If I bend the hanger, will it reach the keys? Maybe. But I'm not sure I'll be able to get a hold of them. Okay. Uh, examine. Wait. How do I bend them? So examine. I could easily bend this. Yes, you say that. Now I probably need something else. There they are. So for building one. So her father's room is... None of this. Uh... No? It was a number one, right? Yes. And it should be on one name only, correct? Yeah, because he should live alone. Okay, well, his name is not here. But I'm not seeing it. Okay. I hear you, game. This is the main entrance, but Dad and I always go th in through the shop. I don't have the keys on me. Well, it doesn't look like you can interact with it anyway. Why? Why could I feel her heartbeat? That was not ideal. Okay, safe. Mm -mm. One buds, there is no way. So, completely blocked off. Okay. Blocked entrances are good. Means less I need to go check. But that hard bit, hard bit tells me I'm gonna have friends. Very, very soon. Sure. Also, where's my light? Thank you. Oh, when it turns off, you need to turn it on and the lighter might take a few times. Okay. I like that realism. with steel. I doubt I could hear anything on the other side. Well, good thing you have the security footage. Let's see. Oh, hi! And I need to go in there. Right. So you're hiding under that. Okay. It's gone now. But how 
did it get in there in the first place? It's not gone, it's going under the table. You seen it, girl? But I guess that will be my friend chasing me. Hooray! Refrigerator magnet. It's a picture of a beautiful town. I've been there. Yes. Ah, the magnet from the re from a refrigerator ornament. I don't even need the whole thing. I'll just take the magnet. We buy quality magnets for our souvenirs. If not, they fall right off the fridge. And I am guessing. Nope. We combine you with you. Yes. So we can get the keys. Okay. I can use this to grab metal objects from a distance. Just call me MacGyver. Okay, MacGyver. I don't have a key anymore, do I? No. Can I actually use the cassette tape thing? Ah, uh, passive. In my worst moments, I play my music and forget the world. Rock always helped me find my way back. Okay. I had a Walkman like that many, many, many years ago. Why is your heart beating? The game keeps doing that, just randomly make her heart beat. And I need to be careful with the hiding spots because I've only seen two so far. And they are all sort of far. Threw their doll away. Okay. We'll casually ignore the doll that just fell from whatever building. What the? Ooh, hello. You're blind. And ugly. <laughs> it can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving left trigger and right trigger. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. If it fills your present, it will come closer and with each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. So, you need to control your breathing by gently moving left and right trigger. Oh, so I very gently need to move it so I can breathe very quietly, okay?
what's hard? Christ, what the hell was that thing? I must be hallucinating. Mm hmm It's the shrooms. Did they leave anything for you? No. Okay, new mini game. Hooray! But since it sold itself, it's gonna show itself a lot more. I set the fire and keys, found in the doorman's office. He's nowhere to be seen. Or a bunch of doors, okay? Probably all the storage areas in this. Knock, knock. Okay, nobody. Right. Why is my light always off? There you are. Well, what do you know? Waldron was a, has a semi-pornographic poster in here, but he's such a nice man. He never stalked me or anything. Mm -hmm. I can hear the sarcasm. Here is the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter, in case anyone needs access to the exhibit gallery. There are security cameras. Okay. You say a key, but what is the key? I see no key. Uh -huh. Another shift on the 22nd of August. Ah, my birthday. 8, 5.51 a.m. The plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. I signs the insurance claim form. The package is delivered to block 2, flat 3B. Okay. Flat two, block 2, I can enter flat 3B. So, three, third floor, second apartment. Nobody's home. It's stored at the doorman's desk temporary. Mr. Isaac Barber is asked about the incident which took place during the night shift, he seems to be confused and not to know what I'm talking about, and appearing upset. He asked me many questions. I offered to call a doctor, but he assures me he's fine. 317. A door-to-door -door salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I usher him out of the building. Okay. I see the security monitors are in full swing. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you say that... There is a key here. Where? Why do I not see a key? Okay. More doors. You sound safe, but what is the hiding spot? All the way back to the shop. Oof. Lovely. Walter is displaying the complaint I feel against him as if it were some kind of prize. I see he's taking it very seriously. Um. Radiators are not meant to exhaust like that, just saying. Let me listen again. Better to be paranoid than dead. Ah, there is the thing. A crank handle. The socket looks almost triangular, but with more sides. Where did this go? Okay. I could easily hide under this table. Okay, so we have a hiding hole here. You sound safe, but let me look at the map. Where am I going? Is this a shortcut back? No, the other door is a shortcut back. Okay. This leads elsewhere. This leads to a bathroom, which apparently was not on the map. I 
Uh, see something on that cleaning cart. Yeah. And your bra in there. That's my bra. Fuck, Walter, you bloody pervert. This has to be you. Son of a bitch. Just you wait. Oh, uh, Walter is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen peroxide. Oh. It hasn't even been open. I don't think I'll need more. I love that they actually scanned the, what the actual thing says. Did they actually fit the date? Yes, they did. 1993. 1226 that it was actually packaged. That's pretty cool. Just a nice little detail. That mirror is filthy. Why am I not surprised? Although, Luke is talking. Crime scene, very apropos. So where to now? I have the key, which might work for the storages or the houses. Maybe the houses, considering that the guards had it. I also have the crank, so I can go into the art exhibit where that lovely thing was. Yes. Uh. Well, before I go playing with the door, are you there? I don't think you are. The room is empty. I don't know what else I was expecting. Uh-huh. Right, right. Uh, use. Just making sure. Nope, not there. Why is your heart beating? Every time, game. Every time. anything because it's too thick of a door. These are dates, that's favorite items. What a bookworm. Where in the world is he? Those jewelers are Etruscan according to Dad and he's really wrong. I stored my puzzle box in this glass display and changed the combination. Let's hope I remember it. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six digits. These are Roman coins, real collector items, all but really well preserved. Uh, also, that portrait is very disturbing and very ugly. Just saying. We gather mom's favorite items in the display. They are not for sale. A sword and a shotgun. What would be very handy with our darkness friend? Medieval land charters. That catalogued and classified them. Yeah, all the porters are very, very, very questionable here. A replica of Spanish King Philip II ordinances. Meant to regulate all matters concerning the new world. A real gem. In case of an earthquake, I was saying something about an earthquake, but I will have to wait. 
What the? Well, that's how our friend moves around. You better not be here. Okay. Um. Well, the only other thing I have is to go check those rooms. And if I go down, I have that door that opens down there in the basement. Okay, let's try the rooms. Oh yeah, that's where the storage stuff are too. Can I unlock you? Good. Yep. More business documents. If anything ever happens to Dad or me, they're going to need Sherlock Holmes to make sense of it all. This is one of the antique floor mirrors we got on display, but it's covered with a blanket. And it's gonna stay with that blanket. Mirrors means death. Same thing with filled bathtubs that you stick your hand in. Why is your heart beating? a gigantic heart. Oh, letter. <laughs> I almost didn't see that. Isaac, I'm afraid it is too late. I have heard the melody. Catherine and the children have to. Just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something is different inside my head. It made me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac. But I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I will keep researching it, but I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Please, take care of yourself and forgive my lack of courage. Sebastian P. Husser, on the 18th of August. Okay. This painting are for Husser. I, why, wh eh. I wonder why they are still here. He's usually so obnoxious to take his purchases home. Maybe because he's no more. in there. Nope. Now oh, this goes upstairs, okay. And the tape on the radiator. Mm -hmm. Recording one by Isaac Farber. A voice recording the antique the antique dealer Isaac Farber dated 9th of August, okay. Smart. I was afraid, afraid of going mad if I did. So Extra smart. Perhaps in a rush of panic, courage, or folly, I turned on the light and woke up. I got out of bed and went to the bathroom to wash my face, attempting to lift away the heavy feeling of something pressing on my chest. Then I saw my reflection in the mirror. The face looking back at me was grotesque. It was deformed and changed color, and it was jolting about with despair. It was banging against the glass time and again, trying to warn me or to escape the place it was in. It seemed as if it was screaming, but I couldn't hear anything. The scene was so horrific that, well, I woke up again. I was inside the bathroom, standing before the shattered mirror. So wait, are there like two dimensions? Daniel said something like that too. Mm -hmm. And 
is blocked. That's why nothing. Also nothing. Mm -mm. And it's also blocked. Good. That makes life easier. Oh, a letter. Mm, yes. Uh, oh, there's a okay. game. Father, I kept a copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom, inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. I have provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note, in a somewhat cryptic form, though, just in case this falls into indiscreet hands. A big hug, Erica. Be punk. <laughs> From the left to the right, okay, so it's Roman numerals, so we have 8, 5, uh, 10, so 14, how do you do 14? Okay. Uh, 2, 9, and I can write it in Roman numerals, that would be 0, because there is no 0 in Roman numerals. Walter, if you're reading this, take a hike, okay? I'm guessing it's locked, but it's worth checking. Yeah. The door to Dutch flat. I need to find a spare set of keys because he doesn't have a doorbell. Why would he? So I need to do the ah! The door! Go for it! Yeah, you need more strength. What the hell is going on? We are not going through that door. Yep, that's death waiting. Hard bit stopped, so that should be safe enough. Okay. Ah, with a door. Always on dead ends. Uh, why is there a question mark there? Oh, that's the mirror. Um. Do I want to go back to the exhibit and try to get it? Yeah, probably should. Right? I'm gonna check before I go in there. Because that could go really, really bad very, very soon. Are you there? I don't really know how long you need to watch this. So it was somewhere here, right? Uh, okay. So... Eight, five, fourteen. Oh, it's hexadecimal. Okay, that makes that makes life easier. So eight, five. Uh, so fourteen. 
So if it's hexadecimal, F would be 15, E would be 14, 2, 9. Zero. Mm -mm. No? Would it be... No, it wouldn't be F, right? No. Maybe D? Wait. A... Wait. A is 10. 10, 11 would be B. 12 would be C. D would be 14. Uh. Unless I'm doing it backwards. So, 8, 5, D, 2, 9... Oh, wait, that's not 9, that's 11. So that's B. No? Eight, five, fourteen, two, eleven. Wait, the six one to zero. Why did they put B there? Wait, so this one is zero, right? Sixth will zero. Okay, don't confuse yourself. So you should be E, and you are eleven. So you are B. Fourth will is two, then you are eleven, then the last one is zero. Are you the right one? Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cylinder box. A hollow wooden cylinder is divided into several ring safe compartments. Oh, it's a maze. Haha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My Chinese box puzzle. I put it I put my house keys in there just in case that Walter Perv dropped by. But the rings are stuck. Okay. Nope. How am I gonna use that? Oh, the lid is missing. That's why the damn ring wouldn't budge, okay? If I find the lid that goes on that end, I'll be able to turn the rings. Until then, there is not much I can do. Okay, I need to find the lid. Where would the lid be? Well, all I can check now are the rooms outside. Yeah, let's go back to the courtyard and take the two locked doors. So, to the left. That was a good attempt, but you didn't get me. Love how the doll is casually there. Can I open you? Yep. So someone had a delivery on 2BC, right? On 
to be two or to be three. Notice for the neighbors in block two, they look a bit old. But a lot of doors. Mm -mm. Locked. Locked. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, so all of those are locked. Wait. If they are locked. <clears throat> Not the right key. Okay. Ah. Hmm. So there is another key. I can't see a thing with this ring. Okay, so the numbers are the floors and the, the letters are the apartment. Also, why C sideways? Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Hmm. Suspicious. Nothing interesting out there. Good, I don't need any more excitement. I'm with you, girl. Mm -mm. I'm guessing none of them work because she doesn't want to listen in on any of them. I must have gotten used to this, but all my friends get scared here at night. I wonder why. Nope. Also, this floor has a different carpet. was a big nothing. So why, why are there like 20 locked doors? That's bizarre. Besides the developers being mean. They're like, oh, you want to check every door? Don't worry. They will all be locked just for you. So we're gonna go to her flat now, which I'm guessing is where the other piece will be. And that's a little bit dark. The outside makes you feel like it's somewhat safe, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Also, from this building I should be able to get into that little garage place. It doesn't fit, but... Uh, where do I go? Maybe that locked thing. Do I still have it? Do I still have that? Uh, no. Uh, okay, what is left? Oh, there is the other door at the basement.
How do I go to the basement? Yeah, from here. always beat on this spot for some reason so down here right Yes, because that door is locked. No, wait. Yes, that door is locked. Okay, that's some serious flooding. That's not the right place then. like I can stop the rain. The only other thing I can think of is back in the storage rooms. Or here. Did I miss something here? the bathroom. Nothing here. What? Who's out there? in the room, I want to leave the room, but... Oh, it's following me. Thank God. It was like somebody was whispering inside my head. Uh-huh. I would have thought to hide, but there is nowhere to hide here. This has been checked. Use the sub. And this door across me doesn't open, right? And I bet this is, yeah, this is locked from inside. 
Can I interact with the doll? No. That's to go up. No. Then we have storage room number one. Which I'm pretty sure I searched fully. That's where it had the letter. That's where the mirror is. No, absolutely not. So there is another place somewhere. What am I missing? Um, so I definitely need to go down. I know as much because the water is blocking me. So that means I need to do something before that. Unless if I go back to where the water was, now the water won't be there. Because I don't think there is anything I haven't found or any doors I haven't seen. And I know that's the only door I can still open because I can still use my key. It's the only locked door and I still have the key. Maybe the water was just for the event, just to spook me. Yeah, because I don't have anything else I can use. I have the peroxide, but I'm... no. Now it's gone again. Game, you're weird. And very not intuitive in that way. Yes. Yeah, that was the last one. Anybody home? No. Ah, 
Door is locked. With a key I don't have. Great. There is definitely something there. Yeah, because on the other door the heartbeat started, in this door there was no heartbeat. A wrinkled piece of paper, okay. Damn, Walter, what the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block 4, which led down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you. Plus, you're in the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I have informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell is up with that girl, and I don't really give a damn. Stop screwing around and start behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical as you claim, but rather that you're one big weirdo. This is the last time I'm putting my arse on the line for you. Okay? That's the other guard, I'm guessing. I always wonder if this is where the electricity meter are, or if it's just another storage room. The electricity meter... Some neighbors have already been caught stealing someone else's electricity. Okay. Ah, a wrench. Good. A very common tool seems handy. I think I know where I need to use this. Uh, what's here? More tools from the neighbors in block one. I don't even know what some of them do. Okay. That's it. So that must be for the lock in the store. Don't you dare show up. are here. Some of those are really close calls. What a revolting thing. What the hell is it? A true nightmare. So huh? you don't have to. Okay, so that's for his house. The key to Dad's place as old as his taste. How did we get to his place again? Interior flats. Yes. That thing is relentless. And the breathing thing is not easy. Because it's like, okay, it goes at a pace, one mistake and he's there. Right there.
that's awfully quiet. Okay, that doesn't sound like death. Good. Something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? Mm-hmm. Dad never leaves the house so late, especially in the weather and without a scarf. Daddy, are you here? Huh. My dad kiss he can't have left the house unless it was an emergency. My gamer instinct tells me go right. Double door is usually bad. More doors! So there is a bunch of doors and no place to hide. Right. Hey, door. Do you hide death? Ah, a widget board. Great. Alright, a wardrobe. Oh. A Bible next to a bottle of whiskey. Dad hardly drinks, and he's certainly not religious. What the hell is he looking for? Books on magic, ritual, esotericism, black arts, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Ah, recording. Noted. He set the bed on fire. Is this some kind of sick joke? Nope. Just a ritual. Do I really want to take the Ouija board? What's this? Dad and Hasser serve the taste for art and design. The paintings in their home say it all. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, that's <laughs> where that is. I needed that. Books on theology, particularly the history and mythology of religions. Okay. Tranquilizers. These aren't the med that usually takes. What bottomless pit have you fallen into, Daddy? Why do I feel that if I interact with a Ouija board, I'm gonna get hunted? <laughs> uh, okay. Before this disaster happens, combine you with you. Yes. You go down one more, or two more, you connect here, and then this connects that way. That would be the only one. Yeah. No? Okay. I'll have to think about that one. There's something weird with that second one.
photographs. One of the magnesium flash cameras. Dangerous little thing. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a lot of spooks, especially on the bottom left. Those nice faces. They're like, aye. One of the dad's little experiments. I hope he know what he's doing. Aha, uh -huh, more of them. I especially love the sour one. This is where we develop the pictures we take with our antique cameras. I still have a lot to learn. Okay, so do I need to develop cam uh, this? Is that what the peroxide is for? I think I that was trying to mix something, but it looks like some of the ingredients are missing. I cannot interact with this, so it's missing something more than. There should be a guide somewhere. Knock, knock. Covered in dust. I don't get it. What's going on with you, Dad? Photos of me and Dad. He loves it when they're when they take our picture together. Okay. Family pictures from ages ago. That's it. Mama, I wish you were here. Dad has never been the same. Okay. Who puts pictures in the bathroom? Like, photos of family. <gasps> of you're here. thing. What the hell is it? A demon. It sounds like there is something in there. I'm not going in there. No, it's not. It's something else. Huh? Oh, hi. That's what that noise is. So the problem was not the door. An ultraviolet alarm to examine that painting, if you can even call that, but why? Should I grab the light bulb? It's not doing any good here. Sure. Huh? You get it or do you break it? You got it. Huh. In fact, the light bulb is pretty small. I'd say it's portable. Okay. We're gonna look for ghosts. And fingerprints. With this, come on. What's this painting doing here under the lamp? Where did it come from, and why is it so important? Hmm. The 
bunch of strangers' diaries. Nope. Hmm. I miss you so much, mommy. You know I dropped everything you helped out when you left us. If we survived your loss, I know we can survive anything. The cops have gathered some dust, I can't believe it. Dad is constantly cleaning. Another letter. Dear Isaac, I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I know who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argos Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I'll let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything is going well. Uh, I've been at your place, Sebastian. They definitely haven't. And month old newspaper. Hello, death. No death. That's a very dirty kitchen for someone super tidy. The dishes are clean but covered in dust. Coffee and tea for an entire nation. Dad, the doctor told you to lay off the stimulants. What the hell? But Dad doesn't smoke. Ah. When you see the crap he does. <sighs> Reminder written by Isaac for his daughter. Dear daughter, I have tried to arrange the keys for you. Oh no. The ones on the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. Okay. The color metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. Okay. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are for all devices and apparatuses in the shop. Okay. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. Okay. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old... Mm -hmm. The round green plastic key is for your motorcycle, and the red plastic key is for the safe. Red plastic key, important. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep lots of antiques. That. Thanks for nothing, daddy. Okay, turn around, nothing. What the hell is in that fridge? Um, you probably don't want to know. So there's one more door to check. And there's the Ouija board as well. But I will leave that for very last if I get stuck. I don't think I need to touch that. Yeah, you're safe. So there's something locked, so he's probably hidden in there. Okay, so I got the key to my apartment now. There is a puzzle in the dark room? Yes, but I don't have the items for it. Uh, so I need to do this puzzle. Okay. That took a little while to sort, and I figured out that you can move this last piece. That's why nothing would work. So I think I have it this time. So this goes here, up, connect to the top, loop to the second, third piece, goes behind the dragon, connects to the fourth piece, and then goes and connects to the fifth one. Yep, there we go. A kitchen with two keys and a peculiar ornament. Yes, Cthulhu. Thing. Hmm? The keys to my place. Yeah, yeah. I love my keychain. Yes, you have a. You are a bit uh, of a Cth Catholian uh, connoisseur. Let's go to your house.
Hop. Get out of here. Out of here. Okay. Well. You do have a wardrobe. Run, 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 run. I've got to go somewhere else to hide. Into the wardrobe with you. These little mini games require some serious concentration, especially when they extra try to spook you. What the hell is going on? <sighs> Monster, let me do my thing. Let me explore in peace. This is not what we agreed to. Also, is it a toggle? I just realized that the button is a toggle. Okay, the more you know. Uh, we go this way. Yeah, no running with this thing. Nope. I haven't found any more coal tokens. That's uh, surprising. I need the rest of my blessings. Do you want to call them that? Okay, and there is the set that I need to get into as well. Huh? What's this? Oh. Bean bags and empty gas bottles. Okay. This fact could do. Could be mine, but I don't think they are. Hey, I'm not the only one who smokes here. Mm -mm. Locked. Uh. I think she's on the third floor, uh. right? We've seen where she was. Nope. What kind of animal broke the window handle? Uh, I don't have the thing to fix that, but okay. And that's the window I need to open to go in there, I'm guessing. Uh. Is my old friend. I won't deny that when I was a little girl, I would throw things out of the window to play basketball with a tool set. Yeah, but you didn't throw your plastic doll out now, did you? I should say, human sized plastic doll. to my place. Ha! Oh, I just need to find the key. Good thing we have that. Mm -hmm. Of course you can get rid of it. Anybody in? Nope. 
I don't remember leaving the lights on. Apparently you had pizza that you forgot too. How long have you been away anyway? Anyway, let's see how much of a mess the house was left in this time. Some of my favorite leather jackets. Now I just need a nice ride. Well, you have a motorcycle apparently. What's this? Instruction, instructions on the mixture. Erica, come see me when you read this. I couldn't find the luminol. I think it's in your locker. But you must have left the key in the trouser pocket as usual. When you find it, get some hydrogen peroxide. I have that. Come home and mix them up as follows. 200 milligrams of stabilizer, regardless of the final amount of the product. 1 milliliter of diamond-filled sulfoxide and 2 milligram of hydrogen peroxide for each milligram of luminol. Oh, we have ratios. 50 ml of distilled water at the base and another 50 ml if the total mixture is m more than half a liter. When you got it all, add the luminol. Right. So it will all depend on how much luminol I find. A hydrogen peroxide, the methane stabilizer, distilled water. If you have any trouble, remember that bottles A and B are the same size and their tops are identical. Okay. Nope, double doors, we don't do that. You need to work on your cleaning, girl. I must have left the cabinet key in one of my pockets. Damn, my place is a mess. Uh-huh. It's not here. Where the hell did I put it? In a pair of pants? You seem to forget your keys a lot, so... Ah, of course, more doors. Parties, holidays, concerts, so many memories. Need to find a hiding spot. I locked the cabinet before I left. Now I need to find the key. Mm -hmm. You and keys. I'd love to use this more often, but since I'm always traveling, I still have an open Laura or Aqua de Silva. Labyrinth. The Rose Maze, one of the best sci-fi movies I've ever seen. Not to mention how well they use the horror elements. Dracula. Just huh. seeing those lights make me feel warm. The room would be cozy even if there was nothing else. Also, what is that sound? I would so love to spend the day here chilling and playing the guitar. Uh-huh. Nobody likes my scorpion. Yeah, it's venomous, I get that. But it never hurts a soul that I know of. No one understands this little guy. My favorite horror stories of all time. I'm not the world's most avid reader, but sometimes I read books by the dozen. I love Prague. Prague is a nice place. Oh, here. Yeah. Hi, Precious. Did you miss me? Did you take the Colter token? I left you... I left to keep you company? Did you like the Colter token? Okay, so I need to do something to get the Colter thing. Okay. Wait, do I still have the hook? No. So she likes deadly things. Okay. Poster of exhibits and events I've gone to in the past last year, who would have thought? Safe enough. 
Who left the TV on? Oh, that's a lot of keys. I put up mementos of some of my best stories for my holidays in Asia. I have found members of the trip, made great friends. What? Notes taken by Isaac Farber. The ghost, monster, demon, my own insanity. She needs to leave this place. In my home, inside my walls, all over the entire building. Wherever I go, the photographs, they can't be real. Is it me? Where is Simon? can get in anymore. There is something underground. Show them to Erika when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Dad? What the hell is this? Where are you? It's still pouring outside. Yes. Good God, some of these aren't even mine. Okay. <laughs> oh. You have to keep looking. Yeah, it's probably all the million keys over here. All of our keys conveniently organized by that. This will be interesting. Yeah. So, we are picking this one up. We are picking this one up. And we are picking this one up. Right. Yes. Three kids found they opened the, the shop storage rooms. Hmm. Yes. Did I check all of the rooms here? There's something in the study which is for the token. Uh, I need to figure out what's in the bathroom and you have another room I haven't checked. Okay. Uh, that's not the case, so that's a different key altogether. check this one. Right? Right. Uh, why is there another door? Oh, that would probably be because it's locked. Check box. Also, uh, Order has never been uh, one of my virtues. Just take a look at the pages in my diary. Okay. Come on, find that key. Good. A small size key. This is the key to my bathroom cabinet. Okay, that's the one. Oh, that's for the luminol, I'm guessing. It's quite refreshing to come home to some modern furniture after a day surrounded by antiques. Will Christian hate me if I make him watch Night of the Living Dead on the projector again? Also, I see some bugs. The death metal jukebox, as my friend Patty likes to call it. My little collection of rock and roll gems, some of these are limited editions. Hmm. My quick reference travel guides. My plant is dead. Damn it, Dad, I asked you to water it. I think he had other problems. You'll clean this mess, uh huh. Hmm. No, I didn't do this. This is before I left. Yes, Dad, I'm a mess. This is where I keep my spices, some of which are pretty exotic. 
No, this is complete without a hint of this and the dash of blood. The key to cooking quickly is having a good set of knives. Yes, that I can work with. Did I forget to throw out the pizza leftovers? Ew, that's disgusting. Uh huh. As soon as I find out and have time to rest, I'm going to lie right here, beans listening to Metallica. So the bathroom will be... She has two bathrooms. Not the first one, the second one. Here, how much is it? 150 ml. No, milligram, not ml. Mm -hmm. Duly noted. Good. Smart. So we need to go mix those at his apartment. Well, I'm not going to go farther up because I doubt any of these doors are relevant. No, no, turn around. say I can interact with you, but I don't have anything to interact with you. Okay. So... Back to her dad's place. So I can mix the luminol. I'm guessing I'll use the spray bottle for all of that. Watch out, where am I gonna hide? Table? Table's far. Still there? No. Mm. 
Where was all his stuff? So straight into the right. So it's the one after, right? Yep. Yep, that's the one. So the second is the self oxide. So how do I move those? Oh. So I empty that and into the mix then. So first of all, I have 150 ml of um, luminal, which would be number D. That looks more than 150. Which number is luminal? Distill water. Ah, uh, when you have it all at the luminal. Okay. Uh, 200 ml of stabilizer. Stabilizer is C. So C. No. Two, uh. So you have to stop this at here. I messed it up. Now, this one. Yeah. But is that putting 200 in the mix or keeping 200? We'll find out. Uh, one mil of sulfoxide, so the second bottle. So, one mil for each one of luminol, so 150 ml of the second one. How do I know? Um, okay. Two ml of hydrogen peroxide for each milligram of luminol. So double that on hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide is the first one. So down to 225 because that looks like a marker. Something like that. And then 50 ml of distilled water as a base and another 50. The total mixture is more than half a liter. Well, stabilizer is 200. Then we have 150, so that's 350. And double the amount of luminol, so that is more, so 100. 100 of D. So I need to drain them. So the first one has to be 225. That's kind of obvious.
they make a sound every 100 ml. So C, which is the stabilizer, 200 regardless. So I need to drain it down to 100. Every 50, it makes a noise, okay? And D is meant to be distilled water. So I need to give it a hundred of distilled water regardless. So we have 300 down to 200. Mm. No, stop. Uh, what is the sound? How much B needs to be? The methyl sulfoxide. Uh, one for each milligram of luminal, which is 150, right? So that needs to be 150. So... Each division on the first... It's at the two bottles. The first and the second is the same. And each division is by 25 mils. No, it's by 75 mils. 75 increments. Right? Right. So... Four bubbles? One, two, three, four. Is that right? Uh. Nope. Okay, 225. Down to 100. Down to 200. And let's try with this one. Four. If it's not four, it will be five. Yes. Yes. I follow the instructions to a T. Now I need to figure out how to carry the mix. Well, spray bottle. My very own developer spray. Hang in there, Dad. I'm coming. Spray bottle filled with dilution of luminol and hydrogen peroxide. It's shiny! <laughs> this will allow me to spot old blood stains. I'd crack a jog, but I'm not in the mood. Okay. So. Is that what's left? So I got the key to the storage room, so that's probably. Uh. Underground floor. Yeah, there is a locked door that I need to go, and there is another door in the storage rooms that I could not see. Also, somehow I need to feed. The. Go back in the kitchen. Was there something in the kitchen? No, That's bathrooms. Bathroom, bathroom.
Dining room kitchen, okay, kitchen is on the other side. Because there is something I can do with her spider. And there was nothing in her apartment, so it would make sense if it was on his apartment. Really? I can hide here. Why do they do it every time? A second spook. If this is a dream, somebody wake me up already. Uh huh, agreed. But it doesn't feel like a dream now, does it? So last time you didn't let me go in here. Let me go back. Was there something here? No. Yes, there is something. Pet food! A, fo a box of dead cockroaches. Okay. That's what we feed the pets. Now that makes a lot more sense. So I can go back to her room to get the token. And then to the basement. Actually, I can go to the basement first and her room next because I'll have to go back up there to get into the shed, right? Yeah. So I'll leave that for after. Gonna tell me my readings later, cold friend. For now, it's doomsday. This was the death door. Yep, still death door. You're safe.
Crowbar. No? Save. This place is impossible. What am I even doing here right now? Looking for stuff, apparently. Why did I walk into a room that has absolutely nothing? Another door. Well, that's a red wardrobe. Yep. I'm definitely missing something. And this is another dead end here. This place is impossible. Yeah, because pretty much I have checked everything. Right and I'm guessing the red that red one will be the correct one when I have an item to identify. Yep. Let's get out of here. Because this I've checked all impossible. of them. What am I even doing here right now? It this way. This place is impossible. What am I even doing here right now? In here. It would be so nice if you would tell me where the exit is. This place is impossible. What am I even doing here right now? Okay. There is that. They check everything in here. Was there any other tools? Also, I need that sort of. I need the handle. Chris, I've got to get yes, you have. Dude. <laughs> Damn door. Don't you ever open again. Yeah, I agree. Again? You really have me cornered. It's safe. Yeah. Are you still here? Yep. Okay, probably I need to get into the little set. How? I need a handle.
It would make so much sense if I still had the wrench. Can I pick it up? Of course I can! Okay. That takes care of that confusion. So I need to go to her room to get the token as well. So, visit her room, take the token, open the door, go to the shed, and then I'm guessing I'll be able to go to the storerooms, because there is nothing much more left, I think. Wait, that's for her. to hide. Yep, it's mud. Thank goodness. Not anymore. So, are there like three presences? There is the blind one, there is the whispering shadow, and there is the earthquake guy. on the third floor and there was was there a hiding spot at your place no that's horrible room, right? Yes. Something? Hold on. I do have that. Oh. Huh? Should I grab the token now? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so that's the gold one. Wait, how many tokens did I get? I got a bronze one that gave me these. So there must be a silver one as well somewhere. So I'm looking for a silver one, which is probably the last. Brown, silver, gold.
broken my legs. Yeah, you're fine. Walter Sullivan security cool. So Walter wasn't here. Oh, a torch. That doesn't have a light bulb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know exactly what a light bulb you want. Conveniently, we have a UV one. Wait. UV and this. Yes. It looks like it has batteries. It's ready to use. Good. Is there anything else here? No. So it was just for the torch. And I'm guessing the torch is for the storage area. Well, they are both on my way, so I might as well. Oh no. Not now, heartbeat. Tell me my fortune, friend. Prediction, uh, play and win, play and lose, having... Oh. Play and win, play and lose, having doubts, go right through. Okay. I suppose. There is also the doom de the doom door that I cannot enter yet. Are you still here? Meter. Huh? What's this? Ah, plat platinum. So there is, there is yet another. Dude. The door. Loves to trap me in rooms, don't, especially down here. Don't you ever open again? Okay, so there is yet another token. There is a silver one, but where? Yep, you're still there. So we're gonna fight with doors. Gotcha. And since you love to visit me down here, I bet you're gonna hunt me down here. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's the right time. Well, welcome to Silent Hill. <laughs> and with a middle. Okay. okay. Let's see whether I'm able to follow the Ooh. bloody trail. And? Mm. 
nothing here. You go this way. Mannequin. Now I have to go back out there. Okay. So the handprints are the rooms you can open. That makes life easier. I think. Wait, am I going back? Yeah. We don't want to go to the exit. gonna play. Okay. Holy crap. Am I going completely insane? No. to be saved. And it's coming again. Oh. This way? went this way, but where is the thing? I lost the truck. Oh, it went through this. So I need to go around. Okay. safe. Well, as safe as this place can be. Of course, dead end. It's 
so I need to go across. How do I go across? But that's how I got here. I need to go back. Up door. Shot that one. So I'm somewhere close. So that goes back, so that's not the way. That end you want across. that door either. Let's try again. And somehow I need to get across. It's a dead end. Does it continue? No. So you went down here. Spray. Find it. That <laughs> has to be the one. Yes, this is the wardrobe that Dad cleaned off in the courtyard. What's that tape doing here? That's casual, isn't it? The box huh? isn't here. Huh? I've got it. Huh? I've had it all this time. How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it and send it to its owners. Le Grant Amsberg. They're the ones who... My office. I'm going to... I hear 
them crawling huh? all over and screaming. Erica, come to my office. Huh? We'll all be there. Huh? Huh? All? Who is all? Okay, so I need to go to her dad's place. When this dude leaves me alone. Exit. Huh? Oh, you can find it yourself. No, 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 no. Convenient crowbar. Hell. What just happened out there? Death. Dad, I hope you're in the office and you're not. Dad. I love that she's like, huh, 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 huh? <laughs> Lost her mind completely. Where is the silver token? Take this. I see your future. What do I see? Something there that shouldn't be. Very specific, friend. Hang on all the time. Huh? Yeah, I think she lost it completely. I mean, the stuff she's seen. the crowbar with you. Smart girl. Oh no. No. Dad. Dad. I did not expect that. I didn't expect him to be alive either, but there was father. God. I don't even want to think about what must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amersburg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Husha, things had improved after returning the box to Faba. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. 
sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faber's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited us. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good. For her, then. Ariadne. <laughs> Do you think that someone could actually live in this place? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsburg. Pardon me? Legrand Amsburg. It's hyphenated. Oh. Well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems crazy. But when you listen to it... That's its box. Um, no. I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Neuer. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. That's what I was thinking. Let's get out of this place. Absolutely. I'm glad we got rid of that thing. Me too. I'm sorry it wasn't in time to... I know. Thanks. Come on. I'll take you to the shop. That same night. Thanks for letting me sleep here. Of course. Whatever you need. I'll even let you sleep on the couch. It's more than enough. I, I, I just need a couple of nights. That will suffice. I don't feel like staying in an empty house after everything that's gone on. You can stay as long as you want. Seriously. Thanks. At least I know you won't drink my wine. Very funny. Hey, Sophie? Hold on. Daniel, are you all right? That had not been a nightmare. I was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by Faber in his letter, shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers, among the documents he was researching while delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time my life depended on it. They are really, really raising the stakes. And I'm very surprised I managed to finish it without dying. I was close a couple of times. Thanks everyone very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the game so far. Do you find it scary? Do you find it interesting? 
Are you curious about what will happen on the next episode? <laughs> I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.